This is Module 5, Lesson 8 Homework, Side 1. Today's objective was to represent parts of one whole as fractions with number bonds. Show a number bond representing what is shaded and unshaded in each of the figures. Draw a different visual model that would be represented by the same number bond. So when I look at these instructions, I see I need to create a number bond that shows what is shaded and unshaded. Then I need to draw a different visual model that will show the same number bond. So on number one, I'm going to start by creating my number bond. The total shape is one. Then I'm dividing it into a shaded fraction and an unshaded fraction. When I look at my picture, I see two parts are shaded and there are four equal parts. So two fourths are shaded. Again, looking at the same picture, there are two parts that are unshaded. There are still four equal parts. Two fourths are unshaded. My next step is to draw a different visual model. So I'm going to choose to draw a circle. My circle should be divided into fourths because there are four equal parts in each picture. I need to represent the portion that is unshaded. And there are two fourths unshaded, so in my circle I am going to shade two fourths. That is a different visual representation of the same numbers. Number two, again I'm going to start with my number bond. This is one whole picture. I'm dividing this one whole into what is shaded and what is not shaded. I see that there are five parts shaded and there are a total of seven equal parts telling me five sevenths is shaded. Next I'm going to write a fraction for the part that is unshaded. When I look at the picture I see two parts are unshaded and there are a total of seven equal parts. So two sevenths are unshaded. My next portion is to create a visual representation that is showing two sevenths are shaded. I'm going to choose to draw a rectangle which is a different shape than what was already there in number two. And I'm going to divide that rectangle to show seven equal parts. So I'm going to estimate to partition into seven equal parts. Now to shade, I'm going to shade the two sevenths that were unshaded in the first picture. So I'm going to shade one seventh, two sevenths. This picture still shows the same fractions. Two sevenths are shaded here, and five sevenths are unshaded. Let's try one more. Number three. To start my number bond, I look at the picture. There is one complete picture. I'm going to break that one hole apart into what is shaded and what is unshaded. There are four equal parts shaded and five parts in all. Four fifths are shaded. For unshaded, I have one part that is unshaded and five total equal parts telling me that one fifth is unshaded. So again, I need to draw a different visual representation that's going to demonstrate one-fifth is shaded. I'm going to again choose to draw a rectangle which is different than what was already created. I'm going to estimate to partition into five equal parts. 
then I'm going to I'm going to shade so that one fifth is shaded. I still have the same numbers. One fifth is shaded. Four fifths are unshaded. Try number four on your own. Create a number bond to show the fraction that is shaded and the fraction that shows what is not shaded. Then create a new visual representation to show the fraction that is unshaded.